they had a simulated rock slide right here for the military students and the wilderness students. The idea was to go up there, figure out what they needed, and then bring the patients down here a little farther out there where it would be easier to help them out with their injuries. Real quick, Any pain here. Medical help arrives for five people injured in a rock slide at Phipps Park, an event for which they prepare but the hope never happens. How to triage, how to figure out, um, assess the patient and what they need within seconds so that it could be really quick. And we were able to practice that. Kelly Steer is a student at Rocky Vista University's Montana College of Osteopathic Medicine. And this is the school's final simulation of the year. It felt really real and it was really exciting to be able to just see all of our skills come to fruition. Prepare to lift, lift, Ow. prepare to move, move. These students have taken classes in wilderness medicine and military medicine. The most important thing, and even for the lay rescuer, anybody that's involved in a, an event where there's casualties or, or victims, is to assess the scene safety and, and make sure that you're not going to get hurt trying to help someone else. Dr. Jamie Reesberg is the director of military medicine at Rocky Vista. He served as a military physician for 24 years and went on several deployments, including two in Afghanistan. Well, I'd say it'd be pretty daunting if you didn't have a great team. Dr. Reesberg says teamwork is a big part of this mass casualty simulation. We want to give them the tools to be successful in those uh, operational medicine environments. Even though that's not a residency, uh, they will be called upon to have certain skills uh, that the nation expects of them, being military physicians. You guys kept coming back to your examination again and again and again. Super impressive. We're trying to build a generation of uh, military doctors and osteopathic physicians that will work well as a team. These situations could happen on the rims. So they could happen in your day-to-day -day life and to be able to be prepared for those has been really critical and kind of inspiring too. In Billings, David J, MTN News.